I'm John Mahar. Uh, I'm with Reset, a nonprofit organization that tries to get children excited about STEM learning through hands on learning activities. And this is during the virus shutdown in 2020, so we're using materials that uh, are found commonly around home and that demonstrate different um, scientific uh, learning. And today we need a straw. Need a small container. Need a cup of water. And we need an index card. <clears throat> um, I'm going to place the index card over the cup of water. I'm going to flip it like this. And now I'm going to remove my bottom hand. And you'll see that the water does not drop down. It's held in place by the index card. So we're talking about forces. And in this particular case, what's pushing up on the index card is air pressure. So air pressure is all around us. Um, and it exerts force in all directions, so it's pushing up. And it's pushing up at the, uh, the about 14.7 pounds per square inch, which is the typical uh, air pressure at sea level. What um, we don't realize is this is quite a strong force. And I've seen it compared to the uh, weight of an automobile pushing down on your head. Um, if it's calculate the uh, square inches on your head and then multiply it by 14.7 uh, the top of your head. <clears throat> so um, we'll see now the water is starting to leak out and ultimately it drops through. And um, that's because what's happening here is the air um, pressure cannot get through the car to push down uh, with the same force on the water as it does on the car. But once the car gets wet and soggy and pulls away a little, just the soggy part from the edge, uh, the lip of the cup, then uh, the water, the air pressure can rush through and it uh, exerts the pressure and the water falls uh, because of the force of gravity. Um, I'm going to do another uh, item here, and uh, I need some food coloring for this. So I'm just going to put uh, four drops of food coloring in this small container. Add a little water. Okay. Towards the top. Then I'm going to take a straw. Put it in vertically, then I'm going to put my finger on top and lift it out. And the observation here, and I use colored water because this is not a transparent straw. If you had a transparent saw, you wouldn't need the straw, you would not need the uh, food coloring. But if you can see, the uh, water remains in the straw to the same depth that it was in the small container here. So um, the question is, why isn't gravity pulling that water out? And if I br bring it back here and take my finger off the straw, it immediately drops because of the force of gravity. So what's happening is your finger on the top of this straw is keeping the air pressure that's all around us from getting into the straw and pushing down at the equal force that is uh, pushing up. So the stronger force of air gravity pushing up, of air pressure pushing up, um, overcomes the pull of gravity and keeps that water uh, in the straw. So air pressure is an amazing thing. Uh, we can't feel it, even though it exerts a large pressure on, on our bodies, because also inside our body is air and um, the pressure inside our body is equal to that pressing from outside our body. And therefore, since it's pushing in both directions, we don't feel that force at all. 
I'm just going to grab the camera here and show you one more thing. So at the end of the video here, I'm just going to add little clips of the tadpoles from my garden. And um, if you saw last week's uh, experiment, you saw I did the same thing, and I'll continue to do this. Watch these guys as they develop. <clears throat> but um, I'll also send a single uh, shot of this because it's be a little clearer. <clears throat> but if uh, if you notice anything, um, they are uh, somewhat larger than last week. It's hard to tell, so I added a one-inch bar here on the container and it'll help us see how they get bigger. Also a little bit of a shape change in that the heads are getting larger and the tails are getting a little thinner so they're changing shape a little bit and I'll uh, see what happens next week as well. I'll put these guys back in the frog pond they're changing shape a little bit and I'll uh, see what happens next week as well. I'll put these guys back in the frog pond. Show you the